Hey there guys, my name is Sheikh Ravi and I'm making this video to show you how you can sync your uh, reviews from your website uh, to your Walmart listing. So it's like a two or three step process and um, uh, I'm going to share the links and all the relevant materials with you guys as well. On the video, I'm going to show you how you can do it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to this website, uh, marketplace.walmart.com review syndication form uh, and this is what the website would look like so over here you need to like uh, put in your information so let me just give you a trial uh, run over here share your company name this is just a trial run just to show you how you can do it um, uh, then you can put your number over here um, and then uh, you need to put your email it's best that you put the email that you have for your seller account as well uh, so that would be great and uh, over here you're going to put in the walmart partner id so let's say your walmart partner where you can find your walmart partner id so basically you need to go to your dashboard on your walmart and on the left hand side you can find your walmart id you need to put in your website url uh, then you need to just answer a few more questions do you collect product reviews yes uh, do you moderate your reviews on your website you can write yes or no depending on uh, if you do or if you do or not do you use any of these platforms i usually do none because i don't use, use any of these platforms do you syndicate your reviews from bazaar voice or yotpo so basically this is um, this is a uh, again an integration that you can use uh, it's pretty expensive if you use bazaar voice i usually do it by myself so i say no and then how many items do you have if you have two three anything you can write over here how many reviews do you have on your website if you had this 1000 i did just write 1000 just randomly you need to click check and then submit the second thing you need to do is basically you need to uh, go to this website and download the csv file over here um you need to go over here you need to write your email registered email uh the walmart registry email or the email that you registered over here which would be the your walmart seller email as well you need to put your walmart partner id you need to download this file it's a format basically and you need to fill that file as well this is basically how the csv file looks like um uh, these are the important stuff you need to remember that it has to be the exact format it is mentioned so if it's the review it's like month date to y uh two year you need to put it as as it is right here right so if for example um you export your reviews from your shopify you'll have your uh review date and your timestamp so you need to remove your timestamp and you can do that from uh data and you can split the data as well and then remove the timestamp from this split data but you you need to uh be wary that you need to like follow the format over here so it has to be according to format everything right once you complete this you need to choose the file you need to submit and that's pretty much it that's the best that you can do i have an uh, i have a, a reference or a contact or a rep or who works at walmart reviews indication so i used to uh, get his help as well so if you guys want that i can give you that email once you've submitted all of those stuff you can email him can ask him the progress but once you do this uh, it's gonna take like a few weeks you can see the results but if you don't you can reach out to me i can obviously uh, give you that um, contacts email you can talk to them uh, and then you can uh, basically expedite the process but that's pretty much it and that's really simple really simple and small way of basically how you can uh, get your um, uh, reviews syndicated from your website to your um, to your uh, walmart listing the most important thing that you need to understand is that uh, you don't have to uh, you can't do it from an amazon reviews from your amazon listing so you, you need to have a website for this so uh, yeah that's pretty much it and if you have any questions you can reach out to me thank you very much